It is time for... The Kids from China. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in today's video, I have something I have never seen before. Uh, this is what we call the plug and play HDMI 8-bit system. I just left in the, the shipping box because there was no other box that came with it. All right, let's do a little bit of peeking in what comes inside. Ooh. Right, it comes with two controllers. Those are both wireless. An USB cable. And we having the dongle itself. Yes, this is the only thing. Micro USB. And this is where the cable comes from. Yeah, this is the reason why you get this cable because this I'm guessing he's getting his juice from this. This is more the idea like a Chromecast. I did a review about a similar product. The only problem with that product was that it was no HDMI and this one is. So I'm very curious what are we going to get. There is even a SD card on this thing. So can we add games? Hmm. All right. No chemical plastic. All right, let's take a close look at the controllers. We're having here the turbo controllers. Let's see, we have a battery compartment here for two AAA batteries. Ooh, the buttons feel a little bit stiff, especially the D-pad. But, and overall, they are looking very nice. We're having here player one and play two. This says this only know how much control you need to have. There is no way of reconnecting it. So I'm guessing it's all set up for you. Alright. Let's see. Let's plug it in and let's see what we're going to get. Alright, so let's see. Oh that is not convenient. Oh man. You what fits. Alright. To give this thing some juice, there is no on and off switch, so it goes on straight away. All right, so I tested it out. When you're around, let's say two up to three meters, it still has connection. Okay, opening the door. So this is around. This is around three meters. If you're going further than three meters, you don't have any signal from the controllers. All right. The menu. So let's talk about the menu itself. It looks really high definition. We've got very nice high quality decals. This layout is more like one of the first Nest clones I've reviewed, the Kobe. And this has nothing to do with Kobe, but nevertheless, all right, so we have action game, shoot, sport, finding, racing, and puzzle game. Let's try out action game. I really like this menu, this funky tune. So, oh, Super Mario Bros. 3, all oh, the Mario Bros. I think, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. All the Mario Bros. games are on this one. So, pressing down, we go to the next game. Press to the right, we go to the next page. Cynic 3D Blast game. Hmm, small Mario. A lot of familiar Brumbrew games. Or for me. This thing got a crazy good collection. All the Mega Man games. Even Castlevania, Batman. Because it is this Mario, I'm guessing it was the Mario clone or homebrew game. All right, when pressing select, you go back to the menu. Let's check the shoot game. Control 9050. Typo, Gradesh. Didn't try to spell Gradius. Robocop. Typos. The funny thing is they're all, all, all typos. So I'm guessing they ripped a list with games from another system. The Punisher, the Terminator. A lot of crappy games. All right, next list. Sport games. All the hot blood, of course, of course. AV Soccer, okay. 
Oh, the deep end is very sensitive. All right, let's see. Let go. Damn it. Championship ready. All right, next one. Next list. Fighting game. Ooh, Double Dragon games. Ninja Turtles, Street Fighter, Spider Nix. Kart Fighter, that is the Super Mario Kart for the NES. Very cool that they put it on this. Mighty Final Fight. Kung Fu, Kung Fu Heroes. Small list, good games. Alright, next one. Racing games. Ooh, Pro AM1, 2. Excited bike. That gets me excited. Alright, that's it. Very small list. Last puzzle game. Angry Birds, Adventure of Lolo. Oh yeah! Yeah, finally! Hello Kitty! What do we have more? Mm -hmm. The Legend of Cage. Oh, 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 doing it again. We even have a Legend, Legend of Zelda. The question is, can we save? That is something we're going to find out. Pac-Man games. Oh, and the three Pac-Man games. Alright. But... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I try to hold my control differently, so I don't have this problem. But this is, it's more like, okay, we have this last list, let's slap all the games in it. Oh my god, 267 games. Tactile games. Mm-hmm. Ooh, even even Curry Adventures on this thing. We need to save. If, it, if this thing can save, that would be very cool. All right, the first time I'm going to try out. Let's see if I can save. Okay. All right. So. But the question is, how can I exit? Very simple. Pressing the two buttons. Holding them. You're going back to the menu. But then the question, does it save? If I go back to the game. It shows the intro. And it's actually saved the game. Oh my god. They finally did it. <laughs> okay, next test. I totally shut down the system, everything. Okay, let's see. What's a puzzle game? Oh man. When you shut off the system, when you're removing all the power, it removes the save. So in other words, no. People, it does save, but when you're removing the power of it, it doesn't write it in a file or something. I don't know how it does it, but nevertheless, no people. I go to cry in the corner now. Because they have seriously beeped it up big time. Hmm. Runs nice, runs nice. Looks good on this uh, 34 inch EPS screen. A little bit clickish, but I can tell you, oh man, a little bit of screen tearing, a little bit, not too much, but a little bit. <laughs> Coming back. What the heck is small Mario? Oh my god, what is this? It's more like a gambling machine or something. Ah! Mm -mm 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 -mm. Is a mirror is glitching out here. All right. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh crap! Hey, they use the oh version of it. 
that is brand new. I have seen so many clones that they're always using the, the, the Japanese version. The, the sound is weird. Wait, I don't do, put the camera or the, the camera, the microphone close to the uh, to the screen. Yeah, there's some weird stuff going on. The music is not very crisp and clean. There's something on with the thing. We have tower buttons, but the tower buttons do anything. The sounds sometimes it looks like it's showing getting a slowdown or something like that. So far I know the glitching is normal. Or normal for the NES games or I have seen it before, let's put it that way. Okay, this thing looks pretty cool. Oh, we can choose level. Okay, cool. I just want level one. Oh, we can choose the character. Okay, cool. Yeah, what to be Bowser. Oh, what is the fighting game? Okay, now I'm confused. It says card fight. It was on the, on the racing games. Ah, bird fighter. Hmm. I have no clue what kind of game it is. This is the Power Rangers. Oh my God! Seriously? And you call this the? Hmm. I say the gameplay is very nice. Good soundtracks. Let's play this classic one. Ooh, ooh. Ow, he hit me in the balls. The ball kicker. That ass, I punch you or I kick you in the face. So if I'm standing here, he's going to just going to hit me every time. And I can hit him. Oh, that is freaking cheesy. Oh, the cheapskates. Look at this. So I just put up Kung Fu. You're getting the year Kung Fu. But of course, if you're pressing this game, it gets, oh my God, they put double games on it. That is so cheap. Hmm, I must say it doesn't sound bad at all. It doesn't sound bad at all. Whoa, holy shit, it's glitching out. Oh, that was already. That's no, good, okay. The Crash Man. How responsive is the control? Let's respond. And the sound is not bad at all. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Oh man, I hate this. Ah! Go away, you freaking annoying barrel shitty robots. I don't know how it's with you, but I have personally seen enough. So let's go to the final conclusion and I'm going to tell you what I think of it. I love this soundtrack. Mm -mm 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 Alright people, so for the final conclusion about this HDMI 8-bit plug and play system from a friend from China. I must say, I'm impressed. It works pretty well. It got a decent signal output. It has a little bit of the familiar screen tearing problems, but it is not a big of an issue if you ask me. It's plug and play, it's finally HDMI, so that is pretty cool. The controllers, they work fine. Let's say for two, three meters, then it's serious over, then you lost your total connection. But plug and play, it's not very expensive. It comes with a lot of games. There are some double games. 
um, some grammar errors but in overall it's not bad at all so i really love to know what do you think of this would you even consider buying something like this so i want to thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell and if you're into gaming don't forget to check the wicked gaming channel see you next time bye bye